Okay, hey everybody, it's Sunday afternoon, beautiful like spring-like day here in southern Ontario. It's seven degrees Celsius outside and I'm doing this video uh, on request and I haven't really done a full video or a vlog on one of these species yet, but uh, they're a beautiful palm. So, Hyophorbe lagenicollis, the bottle palm. This is a seven gallon uh, this one I never grew from seed. I actually bought this from uh, Norfolk Exotics last year. So I wanted something a little bit bigger to put by the pool. So the year before I had a bottle palm that was a five gallon and it died on me. And there was a lot of mistakes I made with it. Uh, one of the mistakes was the soil didn't drain well enough was the first part. Second of all, I kept uh, the soil too wet and too cool when it came indoors and it got root rot. So this one I've been letting dry out because uh, believe it or not, bottle palms are actually pretty drought tolerant. Uh, so you don't let them completely dry out, dry out like to nothing, but you can let it to the soil basically has just a smidgen of moisture in it before you have to water it. And that'll keep the roots nice and healthy and the palm will be just fine. Like you can see there's just a smidgen of brown tipping, just a smidge, right? But you gotta remember if you guys know my setup here, the palm room is 28 degrees Celsius and 37% humidity. So it's dry in here, very dry in here. And the palms do just fine because it's nice and warm. So one thing that's kind of neat about the bottle palms is, for, well, we all know the bottom. And actually, let me just move this out of the way first here. As you can see, it's starting to do its bottle shape. Now, I could have picked one with a bigger bottle last year at the nursery. But in all honesty, uh, I wanted to grow the palm uh, myself and bottle it and you know, have a bottle for me uh, not I already have a bottle just something that I wanted so anyway you can see it's starting to it's starting to do this bottle shape uh, I do clean the dead fronds off when they're ready and dry and, and it's really hard you have to get like a knife and clean all of this crap off it sticks like it's really attached to the to the trunk so it's very hard you gotta be very gentle um, otherwise you can see some bottles have tons of of dead fronds on them and they don't always necessarily look as good. They do look better when you can see the crown, the crown shaft a little bit and that green and that red color. So what's actually, this this palm is actually doing really well. I'm, I'm very happy and very surprised. Not surprised, but I've learned enough now, but it's doing really well. Um, doesn't get any bugs, hasn't been any issues with it at all, but it likes it hot. All I have is one LED light that's hanging from this pillar here. So it has that light there. It also will get light coming in this window in certain times of the day. As you can see, these seedlings here are all lit up with natural sunlight. Uh, and there's the new spear here. And see the black lines? Black line, black line. So I wanted to monitor how this thing was growing because it had been pretty slow. And I know that it's not getting full daylight. Um, so that would be another reason why it's a little bit slower. But this thing has grown two inches this week. So this spear has started to take off and it's doing really well. So, and I actually just gave it a very light fertilizing today uh, as well, just to, to help it out. It was kind of due. So let me show you something though. No, here, I'm gonna put this right there. This is a bottle palm seedling. It is grown from the summer. So it's about uh, seven or eight months old. And what's neat about bottle palm seedlings is they come out with red trunks and these beautiful red petioles and the green the green color on them and you can see eventually where it's going to pinnate there those little lines with that red on the outside so they're a really beautiful seedling they're really cool um same thing really good drainage lots of perlite everything's in cocoa core and uh barely ever any fertilizer just maybe some fish emulsion but uh yeah, these things do really well, but they root rot really easily too. So you gotta be very careful. Um, bottles are a zone minimum 10A. They like more of a 10B climate. So very far South Florida is about the only place in the, the states that you can grow them. Typically, I see them quite a bit when I go to the Caribbean, um, but you do see some Fort Lauderdale, Miami area down into the Keys. But uh, one thing about them that's kind of neat is they're from an island called Meridius. And this island is a small chain of islands. It's east of Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. So it's a very remote place. 
Uh, it's actually cut from Round Island in Meridius. Round Island is actually an uninhabited island. So it's basically just like a nature preserve, uh, very tropical, really beautiful uh, off, uh, off of Africa there. So that's where these guys originated from, but they're pretty common now in, uh, in cultivation. I mean, why not? It's kind of neat too, because they are slow growers. So even though this is a seven gallon, and I'm gonna to try to step back here without falling over. So it does have a pretty wide stance to it, but uh, they look absolutely beautiful outside, especially with the red. And most people don't have these kind of palms up here in, in Southern Ontario or in Ontario. You know, you'll see some spindles once in a blue moon, um, but bottles are a little bit more exotic up here, if, if that makes any sense. Uh, mostly you see like Robolimis and Majesties, um, Chinese fan palms. So there's not many people up here that actually have bottle palms or bottle seedlings. But so there you go. There's your little lesson for today on the bottle palm. I just gave it a good watering. It's doing really well. And uh, the next time I do a video on this guy, probably be in a couple months and it'll be outside in the full sun uh, under the pool or sorry, under the pool, by the pool and uh, be, being enjoyed for the for the summer season. And hopefully these little seedlings do really well. And also the one thing I wanted to mention as well you can do is you can also, here we go, you can also community pot bottles. Bottles are one of those palms that do not mind being in pots. They do not mind being confined. So to separate the roots on these guys when I'm ready to pot them into single cups or, or single pots will be just fine. But as you can tell, Doing really well. A little bit of brown tipping in that one, but uh, this one I've got quite the mix. I got a lot of clay balls in there too. I'm trying to get the soil to drain really fast because I have had issues with bottles dying in me in the past being too wet. So these guys are kind of like an experiment, but they're doing really well. So, and that's the, those are the same age as this one as well. They're from last summer. Okay, everybody, my seven minute number is up. I try to keep these videos seven minutes or less. Have a good weekend or the rest of your weekend. And uh, we'll see you soon in the palm room. Bye.